I'm Gunnar Thomas Alton. Uh, I'm part of uh, C Troop 210 Battery 103 Regiment Royal Artillery based in Nottingham. I'm a manufacturing engineer for a big steel plant up in Sheffield. And I'm part of the command post in the artillery. Um, it's where all the fire orders uh, come into and then I receive those as a signaller and distribute that back out to the command post officer who sends that information onwards to the guns. I get a lot of sense of satisfaction from being in reserves. Um, I've always wanted to uh, serve, but uh, I quite enjoy my civilian career. So I was uh, at university and I was thinking, oh, I might join the army or I want to join the army after I've um, graduated. And then, uh, but then I thought it'd be a shame to do four or five years of university um, and then not do anything with my degree. So I, I got, uh, got a job on uh, Civvy Street. And um, as I say, I, I still had that itch, that, that sort of niggle that wasn't being scratched. So I thought, well, it costs nothing to come down to the reserve. So I came down one drill night and fell in love with it there and then and haven't stopped coming since. So. The reserves gives me uh, an opportunity to um, pursue a career that's not office based. So uh, I find that um, I'm a lot less um, stationary or, or stagnant. Um, and the sort of coolness and the level-headedness that, that we get, I think a lot of people end up uh, respecting because it has been, um, it's come from a really good place. It's really enhanced my communications and grit, uh, grit and mental determination. Um, I remember going through my basic training and going through um, bayonet training, which is quite grueling. Um, and all of a sudden it was like a light bulb switch thinking, um, this training, the beasting that we're receiving, it's only it's only going to last for a certain period of time, and having that understanding has like really helped in my civilian career. And um, when I've been late or, or we've been on some pretty stressful projects, it's good to think it's only going to last a certain period of time. The best thing I've done with the unit is um, the countless live firing weekends that we've had. It's always a thrill to hear the guns go bang uh, and especially to be a part of that process. So delivering, uh, receiving the information and then passing that onwards and then hearing the guns fire on that, it's really good. Absolutely do it. Uh, come down and um, just see what it's all about. You owe zero commitment when you first come down and if it turns out you really like it then you're in for a real treat.